In this video, I'll try and explain what nobody is able to explain. <laughs> the, this brand of switches is all over the internet. You can buy these in all sorts of configurations. One, two or three or how many decks and how many positions. This one got quite a lot of positions, as you can see here. And um, nobody can explain us how can we limit the number of positions. I want to try and figure out how can we do this. Because sometimes you need a different number of positions, a little bit less than what it is you bought for your project. And uh, there must be a way to do this. Normally, with switches like this, you simply remove the little knot here and then there is a hole and a little stopping mechanism. But as you can see here, there's absolutely nothing visible. And if you look here at the side, there's no little holes or no little markers, no little things to configure. And then I imagine what happens if we open this. So will we have a problem? Will we be able to put it back together? And uh, first I want to just loosen the screw and then just carefully slide this to the side. Maybe that will um, tell me what to do. But we will, we will see. So the first little idea is one screw out, the other one is loose, and then we carefully slide this one. And see, there's nothing to see. So that is not how it's done. And you can see that it's we contact right here. It seems like it should be possible to take this apart. There's a little spring-loaded contact in there. So I hope that I dare to take this apart. <laughs> Let's see what can happen. So that was a little bit difficult due to the glue or varnish they put onto the nuts there. So here's another little trick I do when I take stuff apart. I add a little permanent marker so I know how to put things back. So let's pull out the two screws and let's see what happens. So this is the first deck. And then now this little part here should become loose so we can take this out. Okay, so that is good. So that little contact part here is actually not falling out too easily. Oh, yes it is. So that is something you need to be very, very careful about. And here is, of course, the part where everything contacts. So I'll just put everything on a long line so I know exactly what to do. In each little part, there is actually a little locking pin. You can see there and there, and it goes into these. And so I think it is, uh, should be fairly impossible to do this wrong and then we just continue because i think the little magic is all the way in there so here is how it works and this is how they say it is impossible to configure uh, those for different steps and that is of course because this little part here simply rotates and stops right there and then it stops right there and when they manufacture these you can actually see there's another part that was milled away right there so it's there's this stopper there and then you yeah so there's there's no way you can configure these for other stops you need to buy them at the correct 
number of positions. And that is a really, really annoying. You can even see, they click. And they, the two little balls and springs, they alternate in their function to give you the 15 degrees. So that is how it works with those switches. And what a shame and what annoying. If you want to change the different steps, you need to put in another little stopper here and glue it. For example, a little piece of plastic, glue it in here and avoid it to touch the... Uh, st it's, it's just too much work. It's not really, really uh, a good idea. You could, of course, do it, but I will not recommend you to do that. You can see then it will work right. So this is here. And if you want half the steps, you can put in a lot of stops here and a lot of stops here. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little bit sad and annoyed by this. But anyway, that is what I wanted to show about this little switch.